Coach, if you could begin with an opening statement. Well, you know, it, it was a pretty good game. I, I mean, they're, they're very good, St. Peter's. They're going to probably be one of the better teams in the MAC. Um, so credit to them. They played well. Um, I thought we did good things uh, at times. Uh, there are things that we need to work on, specific things defensively. And I just think we got to play with more poise on offense. You know, it, I was telling the guys upstairs, when we call a set or something, we kind of do okay with it. We were able to do that tonight and score a bunch off it. But we, we have to get better when the game is that transition, out of, coming out of transition into half-court offense, play with more poise, get some reversals, get some paint touches. I think, you know, they our guys play pretty hard. They get excited on defense. And then on the offensive end, they have to calm down. And, um, you know, I, I thought we were too jacked up on offense today and the ball didn't move as much as it, at times it did. But we missed some layups and, and we, we just got to get better on offense. Uh, we have not faced much man to man. A couple of the teams we played played zone. Uh, we're, we were better in it than we were against Central the second game, but we got to keep improving. These next seven or eight days of practice are going to be really big for us. Coach, you know, we talk about toughness and hustle a lot. Uh, a stat that really jumped off the page at me was, uh, you know, 17 offensive rebounds and 23 second chance points. Yeah, and I told them that upstairs. I, you know, those are, those are hustle stats that I'm proud of them for. Uh, you know, th those things are, are really important to us. Um, and I thought we did a great job in that area. Um, we just got to we just got to get a little more poise on offense, uh, share the ball more. I think we're making the game too hard offensively instead of just making simple plays and easy pass, getting ball reversals. We're, we're thinking that every pass or every drive needs to lead to a shot and, and it doesn't. You know, you can make a hockey pass, which, you know, is the pass that leads to another pass that leads to a shot. And we have to we have to kind of understand that concept uh, our defense I thought was good at times but we still have to clean some things up uh, we got to we got to limit our live ball turnovers I thought they did a good job of turning those into points and, and we did the same to them so I, I'm not I'm not upset with the effort um, I, I just think we need to tighten a lot of things up and get better offensively and defensively so it's not a game where I'm walking out of here and thinking that we didn't play hard or we didn't you know, we didn't show up or we weren't tough enough. We got to be just, we got to get better. We got to get better on both ends of the floor, and we, and we will. We're going to work on it the next seven or eight practices. We're going to get there. You know, St. Peter's led wider wire, but it didn't, it didn't feel like that. You know, anytime it, it felt like that the Peacocks were trying to pull away, we fought back. Um, can you speak to the fight of the team? And just, yeah, no, they, 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 they fight. And, uh, you know, you know, it's just little mistakes at key times. We fouled two guys, a, a great shooter on a two, three point attempts. We basically gave him six points. I think he made every shot. So that's kind of the difference in the game, right? So we lost by six. So you can't do that. Um, there were some things in transition where we didn't talk and they got a dunk or, or two. Um, you know, there were a, a couple of turnovers at key times. And I think we missed about six or seven layups. So you, you can't do that. Every possession is so important at this level. And I just thought our guys were too wound up offensively. But we'll, we'll straighten it out. We'll get better. Um, we, we got a good group of guys. And we, we have seven or eight practices now going into the league. I thought this was a great game for us heading into the holidays against a very good team to prepare us for what comes next. Terry's had three. Uh, three guys finishing double figures today, uh, being Travis, Chauncey, and Rob. Travis finished with his second double-double of the season. What did you see from those three individuals today? Yeah, I, you know, we ran some ISOs for Rob and Chauncey, and they took advantage of it. And I thought, you know, Trav got his within the flow of the game. And uh, I think our guys, you know, I talked to them about that upstairs, also recognizing who you're playing with and their strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, like when Trav's open, he's got to get it because he can shoot it, you know. And then they got to play off one another. Um, you know, I, I just think we're close. We're getting there, but you know, it, it's 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 limited practice time, and you know, we, we need a little more time. And, and I think we can get there, but um, it, it's going to take a great effort. They're going to have to grind. Okay, I told them upstairs. You know, in, in 15, we went to the NIT, won 23 games, and we were three and eight to start the season. So those guys were tough guys. They hung in there, and they just kept getting better as the year went on. And you don't know when it's going to click. You just got to keep working towards it and keep fighting. And when it clicks, it's a lot of fun.
Thanks so much, Coach. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, stay healthy, stay safe. Thanks, Rob. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone.